The GUI allows you to control your project's exposed parameters and even layer selection when your scene is exported as a standalone application. This tool is perfect for controlling and altering remote fixed installs, demoing interactive scenes to your customers, or even DJing as it's touch surface ready. Let's briefly discuss the process of using WebGUI. Firstly, you need to expose a parameter or parameters that you are planning to control. Let's expose a color attribute of this text node. I'm pressing on the question mark icon and ticking on expose property tick box. Now let's enable WebGUI. Let's go to project settings panel and let's tick on WebGUI enabled. Notice that the WebGUI has a port number. Its default is always 8910, but you can change it to any port number you want. Now let's open a browser, type in the IP address of the machine we want to address and port number that we designated in the settings panel. In our case, we will use the same machine for WebGUI and Notch Builder, so we can use a local host command instead of the actual IP address. And a default port number 8910, as we did not change it. And here we are. Now we can control Notch Builder via any web browser. Let's open a couple of more parameters in the scene and come back to WebGUI. I'll grab a text string parameter and position Y parameter. Let's limit the range of this position Y parameter. Parameters are now open. Let's come back to WebGUI, hit refresh, and I can already see that the new parameters are visible and working. Great! You can learn more about Notch WebGUI and its more advanced use options by visiting Notch Manual WebGUI.